So if you want to show some support, feel free to hit the like button. Ask the Cross would tell you to smash that like button like your mama taught you right. Here we go. Third match on Endless Veil. Vale. Lots of activity on this map. It's a bit of a mosh pit. Nothing to help you but your team and your weapon. Books and Khaki now. We get to see them play from their perspective for the first time this tournament. Previously, we've only witnessed from the opposite side. KD trying to line up a snipe into top mid. She she re-challenges. Gets a couple of nice primary shots there. Reloads the trust. She's going to back off. Her teammate's not with her. She's in a 1v2 getting chased from behind. The Huckleberry. First time we've seen a Huckleberry in this tournament. Huckleberry now accounts for two kills. She's going to try and line up a snipe. She misses the headshot. Swaps back to the primary. She's got Foe Tracer on, maybe. She's getting 1v2'd here. Right now getting bullied by that Huckleberry. Jack might need to back off now. They may just need to reset, group up. Get their bearings here. They're down 0-4. Her teammate pushes up with that Monarch. Let's a shot go. A little bit of audio desync there, but she lands the headshot. Nice shot with the sniper. They have an opportunity here to push in. We hear that shoddy. It sounds like an aggressive frame. Could be another Imperial Decree. Can she get the melee? She does not. It is an Imperial Decree. Dr. Deadman with the Imperial Decree plays through the barricade there. Gets tagged by the Celestial Fire. Now trying to pre-fire the corner. Lands one, but goes down to the snipe. Jack able to deter the push there with a shotty, but goes down to Dr. Deadman. It's a six-point game. They're down two to eight with six and a half minutes left on the clock. Trying to line up a snipe in mid, see if they can get a pick to work with. They've got some range, obviously. And that's not where they're struggling. Right now, they're getting punished up close by the Imperial Decree. And the Huckleberry. Can she clean up this kill? She does. They get the full team wipe. They cut the lead down to two team wipes instead of three. It's four to eight. Some nice shots from the trust there. One of the only 180s that we've seen in the tourney. Jack gets a kill with the grenade. Miss KD unable to connect with the sniper rifle there. And they miss out on an opportunity to 2v1. But right now, neither of them seem to have a real edge up close. So they may be just trying to take the picks that they can get and not worry so much about aping in on the last remaining player on the team. A nice tag with the Monarch there, but they're not able to connect and clean up the damage. We've got the barricade over there. No, uh, no grenades or smoke cooled down to toss at it for the time being. She gets a little bit of free information there. Knows that the Titan is moving to the left. She lands the trust shot straight to the head. Manages to get the win. Her teammate Jack pushes up uh, up high with a shotgun and secures the kill. They're now down to just a one-point lead. Trying to line up a sniper. See if they can get a pick early again. Dud of a grenade. I've seen worse. I've done worse. These guys are a little bit split. Unfortunately, she chooses to jump there. Sacrifices her accuracy when she does it. And lets the uh, opponent line up a free snipe on her. They're down by 3, 7, and 10. Hopefully that emote we just saw in the feed was not an emote to peek around the corner because that is against the rules. Actually, real quick. Now, we're too late to get the perspective there, but I would have liked to double-check that emote. Can we get some validation that that emote was clean and not leveraged as a means of third-person peeking? If she lands these shots, there she goes. She's got the win there, but she's getting pushed by the Titan. Can she land these trushes? She does. She gets the full team wipe. Cuts the lead down to 12-3. to three. Already getting pushed by the other opponent, though, who spawned up nearby. Potentially an opportunity right here to collapse. Jack actually cuts him off. Gets the kill with the shotgun, but now she's in a 1v1 with the Titan. Still a one-point game. The Titan is playing very aggressive, pushing her. An opportunity to get a kill. She ties it up. Jack traded out. So that does lead to a tie. 
She's rocking that foe tracer pretty well, but unfortunately gets caught in a 1v2 there and goes down to team fire. Leaves Jack alone in a 1v2. He gets at least one kill. Can he clutch it up? He does. He gets the team white. Trades out. They maintain the tie at 17-17. Three minutes on the clock. Her teammate spawns up with her own elbow. Gets a solid tag with the monarch. Miss KD sitting on her super. Now might be the time to pop it. We'll see. Jack actually manages to get a kill on the Titan while running away from the super. Keeping this alive. She throws down the tether. I don't think it's going to reach that high. She goes down to the daybreak. Maybe regretting that choice. Oh no, Jack goes down to the snipe. They're down 18, 19. This could be big right here. They're down by two now. Jack still has a smash. Two and a half minutes left. They need a full team wipe to tie it up. Plenty of time on the clock. That's not the issue. Jack. Connects with the smash, gets a kill, pushing the second, gets the full team wipe. Special's on the ground. We'll see if she gets the orb. It's not going to matter with two minutes left in the game. She probably won't be able to get another super up. They have mid-map control again. Two minutes on the clock. They are going to have to deal with another smash, though. Throwing the smoke at the corner. Gets a little bit of a tag there. And here's the smash. Here it comes. She goes down. Jack manages to get a kill on the super. If he can make a play against the Warlock, this might be a GG. The Titan already back up in the mix. She gets some solid trust shots on him. Puts him down with some team fire. Getting pushed from behind. If they can leverage this 2v1 and go up by 2, that'll be massive. He decides to challenge high. Very surprising. They trade out. Can Jack get the kill here to keep the lead? Jack goes down. Tie game. Minute... And 15 seconds left on the clock. Next team wipe wins. They're split a little bit. Unfortunately, Jack gets caught in some team fire. She puts the Titan down. Next kill wins the game. Is she going to be able to clutch up this 1v1 or is she going to wait for her team? And she waits for Jack. Takes a little bit of damage to that barricade on the way through. They lose top mid control. Maybe they'll try to line up a cheeky snipe here to win the game. She's got five shots in her sniper. We see a snipe come in from the left side there. What a tense ending here. Chokes with the firebolt. She gets the pick with a sniper rifle. They both peek simultaneously, and she's able to make a quick adjustment to her aim. Line up the headshot while he hits the body. And Miss KD clutching out the win with that cheeky headshot. What a match. But a quick reminder, thank you so much to Mojo Desk for sponsoring the tournament this weekend and next. This is the... Same gaming desk, sit stand gaming desk that Astacross uses and our own Glad uses as well. Fantastic product. Has no wobble even at the highest setting. You just have to push a button. It's all electric and it'll extend up and down for you per your settings. Has a nice housing right there to hang your EC so it doesn't go anywhere. Cable management is easy with lots of magnetic attachments. Carbon fiber top to it. Makes it look pretty sleek. And uh, during the tournament only, if you're interested in snagging one of these things, you get $50 off. If you want to snag one of these, the link is in the description. But you have to use code TRUE to get a $50 discount. That's only good during the tournament. So if you're looking to upgrade your desk and you want to play just like GLAD, except a little bit worse, snag one of these things. Save some cash while you do it.